Hi guys, welcome to another video at Ed Trials for you. So today I'm going to be doing a Pixlr tutorial. Um, since I rarely even do Pixlr tutorials or even Photoscape tutorials, I know some of you guys want it because you can't download Photoshop and my video doesn't work. Um, so I'm going to teach Pixlr. If you can't get Photoshop, this is also a way. This is just like Photoshop, like almost exactly like Photoshop. There are some differences, but it is similar and it's got most of the tools. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to make an icon, a Twitter icon, and a Twitter background. Um, okay, so it's not hard. It's simple. I know like Pixlr can be confusing and stuff, but once you get used to it, don't worry okay so first you gotta make a new file 240 and 240 after that open the picture you want so first try dragging it but if it doesn't work then um just try dragging it I'm sure it'll work okay so if you want to resize it go to edit and free tra free transform and then when you're done press enter Oh, okay. So then, that's pretty much how you make an icon, the white border. I just do it myself, like, for example. Let's make that one here. Then let's make the white border by yourself. So it's not, e it's not hard. Or I'll just give you the file, the one I did here just now. And then you just drag it to that full to that file and you're done so edit um where is it deselect all so then if you want to add like psd just press adjust adjustment or filter so that's how you do it okay when you adjust the glamour glow make sure you're selecting the image or you won't really see the effect but if you think this is too bright then you can change it like the filter you can do whatever you want because it's not hard you know it doesn't matter, you can choose any effect you want. So after that, just save it. Um, when you save, please don't change the name. So if it's untitled, just um, save it. Don't change the name. Okay, so the GIF, I mean, for the background, um, the size is 308 times 515. I'm not sure if that's correct, but this one is the one that works best for me. So it's really easy. You can just put whatever you want. You want to put text, you want to put a heart, like, you don't really need to do anything. Like, for example, if you want to make a Twitter background, just open a random PNG. Because basically, all you need are PNGs. You don't you don't need anything else. Because some PNGs already have the words in them. Some PNGs already look vintagey. So all you need to do is just pick a PNG that you think would best match with your uh, icon and header you're using. So, like for example, these kind of PNGs. I'll just use the freak, and then drag it there and then you resize it by edit free transform and then you transform it to any size you would like and then I'll put it at the bottom or on top and then I'll press the background and then yes and then I'm pretty much done I like how most backgrounds are usually like so you don't need anything else okay and please request any more tutorials and i'll see you guys in the next video please thumbs up subscribe and comment bye guys